But let me begin by asking Rohan Gupta first. Now that the Karnataka High Court has observed and made some very scathing observations against Twitter for its non-compliance, would the Congress like to change its stance from what it said when Jack Dorsey had made the claims that democracy was being stifled and this was an assault on free speech? Absolutely not. We need to see this two instance in a holistic perspective. See, when Twitter was acting odd and Congress opposed Twitter at the time when it was under pressure of government, uh, Twitter banned our national uh, INC account and our leader's account. So we opposed Twitter then. After that, Jack Dorsey questioned BJP and told that, yes, that we, there was a threat that uh, Twitter will shut down. That is also the fact. At the end of the, and this is also the fact that 39 accounts where Twitter didn't give reply for why it didn't follow government order. Obviously, Twitter has to follow the land of land. We are not against that. Mm. But that doesn't, you know, uh, take away questions from the intention of this government of crush and uh, government of crushing voice, any voice against them. We need to take that also on account. So if you see the picture holistically, this government pressurizes any voice which is against them, whether it is Twitter or Facebook. This government sets example that if anybody doesn't follow the order, they will be threatened, that there can be threat of you shutting down that platform. And at the end but of the day... But this was a claim that was made by Jack Dorsey. I'm sorry platform. to interrupt you there, but this was a claim that was made by Jack Dorsey without giving any substantive proof to begin with. A. Secondly, the centre has never denied that it asked for these accounts to be blocked or to be taken down. They in fact cited that how these could inflame passions, which is why they asked them to be taken down. And that was done under the new IT rules. So the law of the land was being followed. Absolutely. The law of land, anybody, again, I'm not saying that Twitter is right in. They have to follow the law of land. But at the same time, allegations of Jack Dorsey should not be taken lightly. Whether evidence or not, it is upon Mr. Jack Dorsey to say. But when anybody of such a stature questions the government of the country, Country, they should come clean. And we have seen that during farmers' protests, Twitter has taken down the accounts of the people who are speaking against them, including Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, including all of us. So my point is here is very limited. If any government in the country, if intention is not good, if yeah. their intention is to question anybody who raises questions against them, that needs to be controlled. At the same time, any platform in India, they will definitely have to follow land or not. Only question is here about the intention of the people who are in power. Sure. Madhu and Rao, the intention of the government is the problem. Well, good evening. I think uh, the Congress is a confused lot. I do not understand as to what they're trying to tell. Well, anyway, that being the case, the issue is only simple. Question is whether the law of the land has to be followed or not. Simply put, the Twitter had did not follow. That's what the High Court has told. Now, what the High Court has told, High Court has told that the orders which has which were issued by the Metis has not been followed, or rather, had not been followed for over a period of an year. Why was it? And that was one of the reasons why the High Court was very categorically telling me uh, the Twitter that you have to pay exemplary cost for not having followed it. Mm. Now, why was it not followed? We all very well know. Uh, rule 8 and Rule 9 of the blocking rules as well as Section 69A specifically gives power to the central government to block some of the contents as well as the user accounts and the specific uh, tweets wherein it spreads like a wildfire. That's what the uh, High Court has told. And what was the reason for the Twitter not to block it mm. for over a year? I mean, really speaking, I think the fact of the matter remains that since they have not followed that, the High Court came heavily on them. Now, what it tells is the law of the land or the orders of the government needs to be followed in entirety and as per the directions given by the as per the given by the authorities. Mm. Now, having said that, I was just listening to the comment of uh, the Congress spokesperson. I am really appalled by it. I mean, let me tell you one thing. There was a, a tweet uh, in the in, in the hashtag of Modi planning farmers genocide mm. and Jan 30th. Mm. And the order was issued against the accounts that were using this hashtag. Mm. Should it not be given? Is it not against the national interest of India? Can any platform or the user using uh, on the uh, platform question in such a way to incite violence and genocide? Can it be, can it be said like that? And doesn't it doesn't it spread like a wildfire mm. that has specifically been told in the High Court order? Mm. So therefore, this judgment specifically tells that kindly obey the orders of the government. Then yes, yes, and 
Rohan Gupta, it's not just the court that has come out and said this, that it's convinced that the government has the powers to ask for accounts to be blocked or ask for tweets to be pulled down. But look at the fact that Jack Dorsey himself has a murky past. Twitter under him has also been facing questions, not just here in India about their conduct, but even in America. Should you then be taking someone's claims, someone as Jack Dorsey's claims on face value? Rather take what the court said today on face value. It's not about Jack Dorsey's Puja. It's not about only Jack Dorsey's case. If before two years, when farmers' agitation was going on, when the different agitations, even COVID thing was going on, if Congress leaders' accounts were blocked, Rahul Gandhi's accounts was blocked, right? You know that. And mm. we opposed Twitter openly. Because Twitter was acting against this pressure of this government. My, That's what I'm saying. If Twitter doesn't follow the law of land, obviously they should be penalized. We are not against that. I am talking about the intention of this government. Why this government is so sensitive that anybody who is questioning this government, they try to pressurize. So, Rohan Gupta, you are saying that here. not just, not just in the case of the farmers' protest where these tweets were taken down, but this government is using this law against its political rivals in a general sense. Is that what you are trying to say, if I am getting that right? Absolutely. That is what this government is trying to do. Anything which is anti-government, they try to portray it as anti-national, which is not correct. Come on, this government must sure. take... So, Madhu Rao, so Madhu Rao in a general I sense... In sure. Let me Madhu Rao, I, 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 I get your point, Rohan Gupta. Madhu Rao, the allegation against the BJP is that you're using this law and claiming that the law has to be adhered to and you're using that as a tool to silence dissent, to silence your political rivals. In this particular case, the Karnataka High Court may have come out and said that the government was right in doing so. But this is being used as a precedent, wrongly as a precedent, in other cases, is the allegation against you. Well, my dear Congress spokesperson is as confused as the Congress party and that of Rahul Gandhi. I think the court has specifically mentioned about the aspect of Section 69A as to when it can be blocked. It says in the interest of sovereignty and integrity of India, Defense of India, security of the state, friendly relations with foreign states and public order for preventing incitement to the commission of any cognizable offence relating to the above. What's wrong in that? If there is any comments or if there is any tweet from a particular account which incites any of the aforesaid aspects, obviously it needs to be blocked. That has been vindicated by the High Court of Karnataka order and my friend, my friend Congress spokesperson to say, it is all in the nature of a political vendetta. I really don't understand. Mm. We are only telling kindly follow the law. And sure. one more thing. Twitter, Twitter was an argument mode saying that account level cannot be blocked. Tweet can be blocked. Mm. I want to remind. In fact, the High Court has specifically stated that in case of Donald Trump, they specifically, you know, they, they had a mention also. Mm. And they, the Twitter themselves on 8 January 2021 are on record to say that we will block this account mm. and they to come and come before the Indian courts to say that at a tweet level it should be blocked and not mm. at an account level. I mean, it really, uh, the court has not sure, taken so it Twitter, uh, seriously. Sure, so Twitter told, cannot have, cannot have uh, these arguments as per their convenience. Ron Gupta